Hey everyone. Got oh, my mic. I'm going to try to clip it somewhere. Hopefully it doesn't ruffle. Okay. So today is like March. Ending March. Oh no. Actually I think it's the first day of April. Yep. Yes. And today I'm actually going to be unboxing some stuff that came through um from my registry um i only sent it to like you know friends and family really like not even that many friends like mostly family um mostly like you know i just want people to get what they feel like they can get you know they can't get anything like it's totally fine me and my husband will end up getting some of the main stuff anyways so yeah i'm going to be unboxing but also like talking about my experience in nigeria <laughs> so i have actually a video of when i was in nigeria and like me and my husband were pulled over by the road safety people it was so traumatic but i'll play that video here and then i can talk about it actually you know you have like 10 percent so i just we just got pulled over by these Nigerian, I don't know what they are, road safety, I guess. I don't think they're called police, they're called road safety. But, so like my husband was driving, he was like a little bit like ahead of the line, whatever. So then literally two seconds later, this cop car crosses in front of us, stops the freaking traffic, and, or like stops us, whatever, from moving forward, right? And literally they come like three of them get out of the car and they're like you did this you did this you blah 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 like literally yelling off at the top of their lungs then my husband's like okay whatever you guys can come in whatever like let's figure it out so one of them hops in the car the other they get on their other car and they're turning right and then my husband's like okay let me move i don't know why but he decides to like drive the car forward instead of like turning right i guess they wanted him to turn right anyways this guy's literally yelling in my ear the freaking cop car or the safety person that's in our car and like i start to yell too he's yelling and i'm yelling and i'm just like what the like because he's yelling and panicking and saying that he's getting abducted or some shit and like i'm literally like at this moment i'm in fight or flight mode and i'm basically fighting like i want to beat the shit out of this freaking guy but i can't so i'm just like cursing i'm just saying all these curse words and i'm like give me your like i'm telling my husband to give me the phone like and like open the phone and it's like you know and it's really not safe because like he's trying to drive but for me in that moment like i could not i couldn't stay calm I couldn't stay calm like I I went into fight or flight in that moment and I just I couldn't see anything else because especially when I'm getting yelled at like I I cannot I can't I, I don't know how to like you can like it's like when people are yelling you can either block it out but I or or like yeah fight or flight so that means you, you flight which is like you're not listening but for me I got into flight so I'm also fighting like verbally right anyway so like he like i told my husband like i'm about to get i'm about to have a panic attack like i literally felt the anxiety like my heart was beating so fast like and then you know he finally parked whatever and then they come up and they're telling us like oh we abducted their person and all these offenses i need to actually check in for where he is like this is crazy I need to actually, I should be recording this shit. Okay, I guess he's fine. Okay. <laughs> 
So if you watched that clip, you can tell that I'm like very distraught. Um, but I mean, before I like discuss into detail like what was happening, um, I am actually in my, I am 34 weeks pregnant today. And I had went for a scan recently for them to see, um, you know, like growth of the baby. And the baby is weighing in at like five pounds now. And the head is already turned down because most of the time when people give birth, the head is supposed to be down. If it's not down, it's actually a concern. So I'm actually happy that he's in the position to be delivered <laughs> already. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of like preparing and counting down the days till, you know, I get to meet my little baby. Um, but yeah, so anyways, as you could tell in that video, so that was like, we went to Nigeria, we went to Abuja first, which is where we flew in. Then we went to Kano, which is where most of my relatives are. Then we went to um, Abuja again when we were heading out. And so when we went to Abuja, we were actually heading to go visit my aunt. That's when <laughs> I got we got pulled over, you know, from what I said in the video. But yeah, so this is something I ordered. It's a pacifier. So I'm thinking the baby will need that. And then I got, um, okay, so I got this. It's a baby shampoo and wash. I'm just trying on, I want to try like different products and different um, companies to see which one is like the best. Of course, I would rather do everything natural and like I know this particular brand is pretty, you know, natural. Um, and then these bibs. And so actually, these are things that I trial bought. So these are stuff that I actually bought myself. Uh-huh. Now I can throw out the box. It's like something spilled on it. It looks like it was a shampoo. Hmm. I should probably tell them that. I should have packaged it better. Okay. Let's stop. Um, so yeah. So... You know, we were like just on our way to go see my aunt and then, um, I don't know, my husband, he was trying to turn right and then the light, I think, changed, but he was already like a little bit outside of the line that it's supposed to be drawn for him to stop. So, um, <laughs> the people come up behind us and they're like, park your car and I'm like what in the world like literally so aggressive like I was freaking out and you know whatever like my husband hadn't parked so then one of them hopped in the car and he's like go this way felt like they wanted us to follow a particular car and I'm just like what are you guys doing like why is this guy in my car like what the heck like it just felt so aggressive and like you know like i don't get it i don't get what like what the disconnect was but i just felt really threatened in that moment i just felt like i don't know like something was about to happen so i was literally freaking out and anyways um my husband ended up um pulling over because i really started to have a panic attack in that car and he didn't, you know, he, and this was like our first time like experiencing something like that with each other too. Like, you know, we're kind of newly wed at that point still. And I mean, even though we've known each other for years, but like, you know, as a couple, like experiencing something. So 
anyways he pulls over and you know he parks and he starts to like talk to them and um he just he like i'm just in the car and you know that's so that's when i recorded that video and then he's talking to them whatever whatever they kind of come to some like agreement i guess um you either they take you to the station or you like pay some fee whatever and then they let you go which is like what they ended up negotiating and then um my husband had told me to stop recording um because he i don't know somebody could get in trouble and they don't really want their faces on camera a lot of times people that work um with government don't like being or like police or soldiers don't like being on camera in northern nigeria so not even just north nigeria in general i think people don't like that so this is another um brand that i have put on my registry and my dear friend tishia got for me so 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 sweet um but yeah so it's the shea moisture so it's like baby um also like wash and shampoo also very healthy no sulfates no parabens path path oh i can't even pronounce that mineral oil no animal testing blah 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 so yeah it's also very you know nice for the body um not harsh at all and this is like a body oil for the baby um which actually we want to try to test this also because you know my husband he makes his own like shea butter thing um it's actually called my glow that's what my husband's um um shea butter stuff is called and he actually whips it himself like um the stuff the shea butter is back from nigeria you know i'll put the link to his um store below um and this is also extra comforting multi-purpose hmm it feels very thick in there like it almost feels literally like shea butter wow and it's also like fragrance free you know um so yeah it's like probably you could put it like in the diaper area too like as a soothing uh, thing for them and then oh look at this little this is so cute this is so cute it's like their own like a she moisture like bag i could put this in the diaper bag so yeah anyways <laughs> that was crazy um we ended up whatever leaving and everything was fine but i remember calling my aunt and i was freaking out and her house wasn't too far from where we got pulled over so she actually pulled over to see what was happening like she parked ahead of me or whatever to see but <laughs> the way that i explain like why i freaked out so bad is because like in the united states here if you get pulled over by cops like you know like you're about to get like shot or something like you know as as black people we have to be super um you know we're, we're scared of like that kind of stuff so i think my freaking out had to do with like the stuff that goes on here but i even like said that to the guy that had hopped in our car and he's like we didn't do anything to you first of all we don't even carry guns i did not know that so but they do carry like batons so they're not really like cops i guess but they're like it's more of like the road like they want to make sure people are following the you know like not speeding all that kind of stuff so specifically they're assigned to do that kind of stuff and yes they can still take you into the station whatever a lot of times they don't you know they don't usually do that they just settle whatever and it's fine like of course i want nigeria to have that kind of structure oh and as i said it's um it's april the first and so ramadan is coming up actually we are predicting to start fasting tomorrow 
inshallah. So that's another thing I've been like preparing for because I've never fasted while being pregnant. I mean, I'm not going to fast obviously because women, we are exempt from fasting if we're pregnant or breastfeeding or um, if we're on our period as well. So I won't be, I won't be fasting, but I will be like, I will see if I can go to the mosque with my husband at night and pray. Um, oop, 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 that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. So this is a changing mat. And actually, my aunt Renee got me these. Um, she's my mom's cousin, and um, she doesn't live too far away from me, actually, which is so sweet. <laughs> I get to see her sometimes. Um, yeah. And then, before we're back, yay! I am so excited to fill this with basically our like day at the hospital, like things that I need. I'm gonna fill my diaper bag with all those things. So thank you so much. I need to write her a thank you and say that I received this. Um Okay, what else we got? This is a big one. But yeah, so like that's, I've been like, I've been um, getting ready for Ramadan. Um, I'll see how much strength I have to help with the cooking and all of that because that's one thing that I want to help out with. Even though I won't be fasting, I want to make sure that everyone is eating well and not missing out. Hopefully I have the strength that eight, <laughs> eight months pregnant to do all that. I really, in my mind, there's a lot I wanna do, but my body is kinda just slowing down at this point because I'm like super heavy. Um, but yeah. Oh, and so once I finish opening this package, I have decided to do another video oh my gosh is this thing i hope this the way that i'm moving isn't making my sorry okay i hope that's okay i've been moving a lot i hope it hasn't been ruffling the mic but um anyway so on my next video i'm going to talk about my going to turkey experience on our way out of nigeria we stopped in turkey and that was such a crazy roller coaster like i like for me and but mostly for my husband because oh my gosh y'all are just gonna have to wait and see but essentially my husband got deported back to nigeria even though he's a united states citizen but Stay tuned for that video. Ooh, so this is actually, oh, this is so cute. This is like a two-in-one bouncer and rocker duo. So it's like one of those, you know, where they sit and they rock and all that kind of stuff. And um, this was actually given to me by an Ante Asma'u also that lives out here not too far away. And she's a family friend. And she's super super sweet and I want to thank her for this um, so thank you guys for sitting here and listening to all I have to say like I said my next video will be about how my husband was deported um, I also have a bunch of videos that I want to talk about when I was in secondary school and the difference between you know secondary school in the United States versus in like Nigeria and all that so hopefully I can make it before I give birth <laughs> but 
I give birth, I guess I'll be holding a little baby and doing my videos, but thank you so much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, tell me what else you want me to talk about. Bye.